Welcome to our journey into the shadows of a nation often described as the ultimate rogue state, North Korea. This enigmatic land, known as the Hermit Kingdom, has earned its place as one of the most secretive and mysterious places on Earth. From the extraordinary cult of personality surrounding the Kims to its staunchly Stalinist communism, North Korea has a dark side that's both chilling and captivating. Today, we won't dive into a comprehensive political account of the country, as the scope is vast. Instead, we'll focus on the intriguing world of dark tourism within North Korea. Why is it considered dark? Well, that should be quite evident. The scars of the Korean War, a troubling human rights record, an extreme communist dictatorship, harrowing famines that have plagued millions, ongoing confrontations with the West, especially the USA, and its near-total isolation from the rest of the world all contribute to a level of darkness that few other nations can rival. But what sets North Korea apart is its peculiar and eerie weird dark charm, thanks to its unparalleled cult of personality. Join us as we venture into the depths of North Korea's dark side, where the mysteries and realities of this secluded nation await our exploration. Welcome to Pyongyang, the heart of North Korea, a city that's like no other. It may not be conventionally pretty, but it's certainly unique and filled with sights you won't find anywhere else. Let's dive into the darker side of this enigmatic place. Pyongyang, the capital, was virtually flattened during the Korean War by the USA. As a result, everything you see today has been built in the post-war period, except for a few small remnants from before the war. And some of those are actually reconstructions. This gives the city a one-of-a-kind look. You'll notice rows of white residential blocks, some older and less appealing, and others more modern with impressive architecture, if you don't get too close to notice the crumbling concrete and peeling plaster. The wide boulevards are lined with these buildings, and surprisingly, there's very little traffic, a characteristic that harks back to the days of the Eastern Bloc, where private cars were a rarity. The city is split by the Taedong River, which flows through it in an S-shape. Many of the main attractions can be found near or along this river, particularly on the western side, which is generally more captivating. Now, let's address why Pyongyang can be considered a dark place. First and foremost, it's the capital of North Korea, a country known for its isolation and authoritarian regime. The second reason is quite literal. It's dark at night. While most capital cities, most well-lit streets and homes, Pyongyang struggles with frequent power cuts and an overall shortage of electricity. This means you won't find many street lights or traffic lights. The city's nighttime skyline is eerily pitch black, only occasionally punctuated by the soft glow of 40-watt light bulbs in private residences during those rare moments when the power is on. In stark contrast, the grand monuments of the capital, especially those at Mansude, are always brilliantly illuminated. They have a separate power supply to ensure they shine brightly, even when the rest of the city is shrouded in darkness. It's a curious paradox in a city that holds so many secrets and contradictions. Ryongchang is a place in North Korea near the Chinese border, with a dark history that's left a lasting impact on the region. In April 2004, Ryongchang witnessed one of the worst train disasters in history. Though the details remain shrouded in secrecy due to the authorities' lack of transparency, here's what is speculated. Two trains loaded with explosives, possibly dynamite or fertilizer, collided, or became entangled in overhead electric power cables while being shunted at Ryongchon Station. This collision triggered an enormous explosion, so massive that it was momentarily mistaken for a surface nuclear bomb detonation, not just by observers abroad, but also by some North Koreans themselves. In a country where citizens had been conditioned to believe that a US nuclear attack was imminent, the fear was palpable. There was even rumors that this incident might have been an assassination attempt on Kim Jong-il, the North Korean leader at the time. However, these speculations were quickly dismissed, particularly given that Kim Jong-il passed away from natural causes in late 2011. The grim statistics from the Ryongchon disaster shed light on its magnitude. A nearby primary school was completely flattened. Thousands of homes along the railway were either destroyed or severely damaged, 
and at least 154 people lost their lives, with likely thousands more suffering injuries. One year later, the town had largely recovered, and it would be difficult to fathom the extent of the disaster that once struck the area. The only remnants of that tragic day are the shiny new blue-green houses that have been built at the site, which stand out as more polished and modern compared to other houses in the vicinity. If you embark on an overnight train journey to or from Beijing, you'll pass through Ryongchan, often part of longer itineraries to and from North Korea. It's a place with a dark past that serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable and tragic events that can occur even in the most isolated parts of the world. Welcome to Kijangdong also known as the Peace Village, located right on the border between North and South Korea. This place is nothing short of surreal, as it was purpose-built entirely for propaganda purposes. The village is characterized by several nearly identical pastel-colored apartment buildings and a colossal flagpole that soars to a towering 160 meters. But what truly sets Kijongdong apart is the massive loudspeaker system that tirelessly broadcasts patriotic music and speeches towards the southern border, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Rumors and mysteries shroud this peculiar place. Some speculate that the buildings are uninhabited, while others believe it's a mere facade, concealing military operations. Visitors to the nearby Dora Observatory can catch a glimpse of Kijongdong from a distance, but stepping foot inside the town is strictly forbidden. Welcome to the Atrocities Museum in Sinchon, a small village located in the southwest of North Korea. This museum has a very specific mission, to document and illustrate what North Korea alleges are war crimes committed by the US imperialists during the Korean War. In English, it goes by the name Sinchon Museum of American War Atrocities. While it's not a typical tourist attraction, the museum is sometimes included in pre-organized itineraries for those visiting North Korea. The museum is reputed to have a collection of rather gruesome exhibits that are not for the faint of heart. From the photos, it certainly appears to be a destination that falls squarely into the realm of dark tourism. In light of this, it might be appropriate to consider increasing its darkometer rating a notch or two. A visit to Sinchon is often, if at all, incorporated into excursions that take you west of Pyongyang, with the supposed highlight being the West Sea Barrage. This massive dam controls the tidal Taedong River estuary and is undoubtedly in an engineering marvel. However, it can be challenging to appreciate the same sense of glamour that the North Koreans seem to attach to it, which they also expect foreigners to share. Nonetheless, it's yet another unique and bizarre experience in this enigmatic country. Now, you might be wondering if it's even possible to visit North Korea as a tourist. The idea of tourism in North Korea may sound improbable, if not downright surreal, but it's a reality. However, we must emphasize that there is no normal when it comes to North Korea, and traveling there comes with significant restrictions. Still, the fact remains that you can journey to this extraordinary and enigmatic destination, making North Korea one of the least visited countries on the planet and an experience that's exotic to the absolute maximum. As we conclude our exploration of these intriguing and often unsettling aspects of North Korea, it's clear that this secretive nation continues to captivate the world with its enigmatic allure. From the eerie peace village of Kijongdong to the somber atrocities museum in Sinchon, these glimpses into the country's complex history and propaganda-driven narratives leave us with more questions than answers. Remember that traveling to North Korea can be challenging and tightly controlled, making first-hand experiences elusive for most. However, the stories and accounts we've shared here shed light on the dark, mysterious, and sometimes chilling aspects of this isolated nation. Whether you're drawn to the historic sites along the DMZ, the unique architecture of Pyongyang, or the contemplative moments within the Atrocities Museum, North Korea remains a destination that defies easy categorization. It's a place where history, politics, and culture converge in a way that both intrigues and unsettles. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the dark side of North Korea. If you have any questions, comments, or stories of your own, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world's most enigmatic destinations.